How's it going everybody? Patrick is coming at you guys and welcome to the very first episode of Friday Night Frights. I hope you guys are excited because I know I am. So Friday Night Frights is going to be a new series that I'm going to be putting out every Friday night. Um, and we're going to be playing some short horror games for you guys. Hopefully you guys get scared. I know I'm going to get scared. I love me a good horror game and this is going to be uh, really awesome to get into. Uh, so what we're going to be playing here first is what's called uh, They Are Here. Now this game is uh, just a demo. Right now the full game has not been released yet, but I am excited because aliens. I haven't seen a lot of really good alien horror games lately, um, if at all really, to be honest. Um, and so I need something that's really going to scare the hell out of me when it comes to horror, uh, alien horror games. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into it and see what, uh, what we can get ourselves into here. Unexplained phenomena occurred at Grayswood Farm on the night of August 7th. The Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction and at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. This strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him, and bit him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself? Or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Grayswood Farm to take a photo and make report for the local newspaper. Ooh. So we're gonna go there. We're gonna try and figure out what the hell's going on, and we're gonna report back to the newspaper. It's it's kind of like Nope. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen that movie, but uh, you know, if there's something out there, we have to get it on camera. So we all know how that turns out. Alrighty, and we're pulling up in the car, like all these games usually start. Alrighty. Talk to Farmer Peter Sherman. So how do I bring up? We'll figure it out as we go. Ooh, I got my little news van and everything. That's a pretty neat van. They should change that to the mystery machine. I need a mod on this game where it says mystery machine. Uh, so I guess I can't run. Well, look at that. <laughs> of course it's fuzzy. This is great material for a news report. <laughs> Every time you take like a picture of like aliens and stuff, it's always fuzzy. Hilarious. I'll take that though. That is pretty creepy. Sherman's house. Hmm. I wonder if I'll see anything actually. I should probably be looking in these cornfields. What the hell is that? I feel like signs. That movie was good. I like that movie. That alien in there that pops out of that birthday party, that one messed everybody up. <laughs> That was good though. Shyamalan's uh, one of Shyamalan's better films. Holy crap! Wish I had a flashlight. Farmer's note: Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Be careful, Peter Sherman. Okay, so wow, the daughter went missing. Oh, that's never good. And let's put that back. Inspect the house. Hello? Let me close that door because I don't need anything like sneaking up on my ass. Is it, are, is, are they talking? Uh, 
That sounds like talking. And it's kind of like, um, like signs, or like they pick, they use the uh, the baby monitor, and you can hear and talk. And the photo, members of the Sherman family. Who the thunk? I hope it's the Sherman family. It'd be weird if it was a different family. In the photo, members of the Sherman family. Okay, so there's four, mommy, daddy. I don't know. Ideal. So what would you guys do in an alien invasion? Like if aliens came or you like saw aliens or like lights and stuff, what would you do? You figured like somebody would get a really good picture of these things or something, you know, with with these cameras that they have out. I mean phones can only do so much. They take great quality, but they they can only go do so much. But like if you have like uh, one of those professional cameras, those, you know, long-range freaking cameras, like, you should be able to pick up something. We can take pictures of a freaking galaxy far, far away, but we can't take a picture of a light in the sky? Come on now. This old newspaper has information about UFOs and crop circles. These phenomena have been seen throughout the estate for a long time. Why I never knew about this. Uh... Mystery sky objects seen here in Arono. Or, uh, how do you say that? Arono? I'm going to say. Down to earth approach to alien visitors. Uh, that's a lot to try to read. My vision ain't what it used to be. I'm just playing. I do have 2020 vision still, but. There we go. Extraterrestrial hypothesis still unproved. Mystify inhabitants of Tiffin on recent morning. Ah. Well. Maybe we'll catch something, yeah. I don't want to go upstairs yet. If you know me, I gotta check the downstairs first. And we're going upstairs. What if there's aliens in the house? What if there's an alien in the house? In the photo, members of the Sherman family. Figured as much. I don't even know why I picked it up. I swear to God. In the photo, members of the Sherman family. They have a doggo. Love the doggy. It's a cute doggy. I have a chihuahua, and I'd be dead in an alien invasion with her around. She would just... Arr! I'm like, nah, nah, you need to get chill. That room looked ominous, so I'm going to go in this one first. Oh, look. It looks like this drawing was made by the missing daughter of the farmer. The paper is painted on both sides. Oh. Oh no, I killed the dog. How are you gonna kill the doggy? Why you kill doggo for? Punk ass alien. You made the daughter sad. I'm just gonna kill the dog. They have no. Megan. I guess the daughter's name is Megan. One can deduce. This is my daughter's uh, room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed, and the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. Abducted. Members of the Sherman family. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, look at that. Apparently, it belonged to the missing girl. If you listen closely, you can hear very strange sounds. Property of Megan. Okay, so it is Megan. Oh, why can't I take it? I would like to take it. Can I see anything out here? 
Wait. Should that tree look like something tall? Nothing else of use. Try this route, man. Ooh, we're gonna get there in a minute. Kind of freaked out because like I might if I'm gonna look outside the window I might see something. Holy shit! Photo from the internet. Perhaps Peter Sherman saw something similar. It looks creepy. That's a dead ass alien. Of course, this is only speculation. These could have been faked. These are some creepy ass photos. Look at the run! He's so high. Oh whoa. Like he's looking into the ring cam. <laughs> now that right there, that's some creepy shit. I'd have ran the other way. Oh my. What's this? What's this? Found my old diary. How could I forget that? Dear diary. Mood apathetic. Ah, today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly I was def deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around, very low above the ground, a huge disc with four flashing lights or windows was hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if in zero gravity. Everything around me became blindingly bright and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed on the table as if I was welded to, to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to me that they communicated with each other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in the evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing and I walked home as if uh, in a delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts on my body with two small, very smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. Uh, so this happened when he was 15 so he's encountered these aliens before and they marked him they probably put a tracking device or something in him marked him somehow that's probably what those holes are hmm that's interesting I can't even read what's in there. It's great material. Yeah. flashlight you asshole what the fuck was that that scared the hell out of me oh shit this is out below there's fingerprints farmer's note I've learned a lot about these things they are called the grays these are not little green men, but big, creepy, and dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be described in the following way. A large head, disproportionate to the body, no hair, bottomless black eyes, gray skin, long, thin limbs. Their voices are like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all starts with bright lights in the sky near uh, home, which move along in a certain way. Then people start to have a nosebleed have severe headaches and a buzz in their ears and animals start raging. 
Next, people start to have memory lapses. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in unexpected places, for example, in the middle of a field or on a road a few kilometers away from home. Some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories. People remember terrifying experiences. The aliens established control over their minds, and this has affected their psyche. Also, they found the marks on the body, incisions to be exact. During palpation, it felt like something thick, like a foreign object moving under the skin. fucking creepy. I don't know, guys. That's a little spooky. But we're gonna power through because we're brave. I'm not leaving this room. What the fuck? What was that? Was it out there? Was it... I wonder if I can hear anything on this. I can't even see outside. Fuck. I need to go downstairs. Oh crap, this door's open. Oh shit. Is it still in the house? As a child, headaches began to bother me. They tortured me to this day. I went to the doctor dozens of times, but no one could explain the reason for their occurrence. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines. The answer is simple, abduction. I only remembered the alien abduction when I found my old diary. It was then that the migraines began. The cuts that I noticed then behind the ear were a trace of them. I'm sure they've implanted something in me, some kind of transmitter or implant. Because of this, I forgot everything. I definitely decided that I would get it. I'm not crazy. Okay, see? So, yeah, they, they implanted him with something. But what did they implant into him? Oh, shit. A little jar with a strange device. In the note, Peter Sherman claims that he cut out an alien implant. Maybe take it? Yeah? Oh, shit, I don't know. Because then they'll be able to find me. Crap. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. We're gonna take it. And we're gonna see what happens. Probably these animals from Graveswood Farm. All these things are freaking dead. Oh. They're harvesting off the animals. The livestock.
it better be coming from the TV. <laughs> I got so fixated on the TV. Oh crap. Oh, that was creepy. Okay. You know what's out there? I'm not going back to the freaking car. Yeah, all right. Let's get out of here, I guess. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, what, was that from the phone? I expected you to be a little creepier than that. Holy crap, that's five now. Oh, shit, what the hell? Dude, what the hell just happened? Hey, that's my car! I know I shouldn't be doing this. I know I shouldn't be looking back and forth, but I'm gonna. <laughs> oh shit! Holy crap! I scared the crap out of me! Run, 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 run! Holy crap, there's clothes on the ground! Holy crap, there's clothes on the ground! Turn on! That was that was creepy as hell. Oh man, I like that. That was good. I, I I'm excited for it because it's not just an alien game. It's a it it kind of feels um it kind of feels like it might almost be similar to like Outlast and things like that where you gotta like run or try to hide and avoid these things instead of actually. <laughs> but it also like it, it investigative. Um, you know, so which is basically what you're doing in that last two. So that's creepy. That that was good. I, I'm I'm excited is it's aliens and I, lo I love aliens, uh, especially when it can get pretty creepy like that. So that's pretty awesome. So guys, if you enjoyed the uh, the video, please uh, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on future videos and stuff like that. Remember, every Friday night we're gonna be putting out a new horror uh, horror video for you guys to enjoy. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all take care. See y'all. Have a good one.